We're talking fashion. No one should take fashion advice from me, I don't think. <laughs> Most of my clothes have I have found on the ground or it's all just a random mess. Welcome to the smoky edition of the simple life. <laughs> it is a uh, I feel like after you smoke like 10 cigarettes in a row, it feels like that in my throat. Anyway, on the plus side, <laughs> it's pumpkin spice latte season, baby. Mmm, that's good. And it's cold because I got it many, many hours ago. <laughs> the fall is my favorite season. I am a Richard Gilmore. I'm an autumn. I love the fall. I look good in fall colors and I just like love being cozy. I like scary movies. Um, I just like the whole thing. Definitely in 2020 I think fall is more like the way this year has been going like spring and summer 2020 like that made no sense whereas I feel like a pandemic like suits the fall like I'm feeling like we're gonna wear it better. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> So <laughs> I think that's going to be great. And I was doing some kind of some research about um, autumn equinox and like which is Thanksgiving. And I sort of realized that most cultures that have four seasons the same way we do have similar kinds of like harvest festivals where the theme is like giving thanks. For me, the first thing that I'm grateful for right now is fall and fall clothing. I am going to do show you a little montage of all my fall outfits that I'm going to wear. I'm going to give you some fashion tips because I know you're just dying to hear fashion tips from me. <laughs> okay. This first look here. <laughs> so this is, you know, in when you're like transitioning from summer to fall, there's kind of like a weird window of time where it's like not really cold. It's also not hot. It's like this middle thing. So, I would say that take the outfit that you've already been wearing every single day for the last six months and just throw a little crop top on there and uh, you're good to go. This is a really important player, the pumpkin sweater. Now people ask me all the time, you know, Dale, how do you get your sweater so pumpkin-y? I'm just out there, I'm at the shops, I'm hitting the boutiques, the thrift stores, and I'm buying every orange sweater I can find. And even still, it just is not pumpkin-y enough. The answer to that is simple. Pumpkins come from the ground, dummy. You can't just buy a pumpkin sweater. If you want to find the perfect pumpkin sweater, a pumpkin sweater that is possessed by the ghost of a pumpkin, you need to start looking on piles of trash beside big garbage cans. And that's where you're gonna find a pumpkin sweater. This pumpkin sweater I found on the ground and it was one of those rare ground scores where it was like in perfect condition. Like typically when you find clothing on the ground, you're gonna have, it, there's gonna be some wear and tear, either from the person that was wearing it before or from the road <laughs> itself. <laughs> but this pumpkin sweater was like perfect. Like it was like brand new. And I was so excited at having found this pumpkin sweater that was like perfect. And then within 10 minutes, I lit up a cigarette and like an ember from it, which like this doesn't typically happen when you smoke like an ember from the cigarette landed right on one of my boobs and got this hole in it. So it's had this hole in it this whole time, but you know what? Nature is full of holes and weird things, so so is my pumpkin sweater. Okay, yeah, this look is like when you're like, ooh, I wanna be like, kind of like cool. Like it's casual, but it's kind of like, oh, I just happen to be like one of those like hipster girls. It's like a, you know, like those like Instagram models that are like 
I, they're I think they're supposed to look like casual, but it looks like there's just been millions of dollars thrown all over them. That's kind of like, this is my, my, my version of that. That pink hat I like actually bought. It's like one of the few like new items I got. I got it <laughs> at the Amsterdam cafe when I was picking up Kratom, which is a natural mild opiate. That purple sweater I got from Value Village, also in just pristine condition. I tend only to wear that purple sweater when in a situation where I know I'm, if things aren't gonna get weird because I wanna keep it really nice. And I also have it with my Camo Timberlands, which are also I got new. I... <laughs> is so embarrassing and it's so bad so I got those Timberlands I so a few years ago I got it was kind of the first job I had where I was like really making money and I was like so excited like I'm just like I'm gonna get all the bougie things and blah 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 I sort of later discovered that that kind of lifestyle was overrated because really nice things you have to like take care of them in this like really intense way it's actually like a lot of work it's kind of annoying so I actually kind of my sort of the garbage vibe like works for me. It's, it's low maintenance and it's chill. But at the time I was like, I need Timberlands. I've wanted these my whole life. And I was feeling kind of like being, I was in the Bay, which is like a big department store in Canada. And I was feeling a bit out of my league being in there. And like, just kind of like this little trash panda, like, I don't know. At the time, I was living in this place that had cockroaches. And they had cockroaches before I moved there. The cockroaches were not, although I'm being really defensive and like definitely there was a time in my life where I lived somewhere that had cockroaches and it was totally my fault. Anyway, there was cockroaches. <laughs> and so I'm wearing these like hideous like Value Village boots that had holes in them. And I was like so excited I was gonna upgrade. And as I'm, <laughs> I take off my boots to try on the Timberlands and a cockroach crawls out, crawls out <sighs> of the boot I was wearing and scurries across the floor. I've never killed a cockroach so fast in my whole life. I was so afraid that someone would see <laughs> cockroach that crawled out of my shoe that I was wearing. Anyway, those are my Timberlands. Okay, yeah, this look. I love this denim vest and it's good in the summer too. I love it, especially when you're wearing like leggings and you know, leggings don't have any pockets. They got the two pockets up here you can put, you know, your phone, your whatever in there. Um, very convenient. Oh yeah, and here I'm putting on the, <laughs> this blue hat. So this blue hat I found on the sidewalk, just like a block from my house last year. This is one of those pieces of clothing. <laughs> Have you ever had a piece of clothing where like you start wearing it and everyone you know just like pretends you're not wearing it? Like, you know, it's just that they're being too nice to say, we hate this piece of clothing and we're hoping that by ignoring it, it'll go away. <laughs> For some reason, I like get off on that. Like when people are doing that to me, it just like eggs me on. I'm like, I just need to wear it more now. Like I need to like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's a sickness. Um, but yeah, so this hat um, definitely, I think, feel like is upsetting visually somehow. I don't know. Um, definitely when I wear it, I can feel people like trying not to look at it. And that just makes me want to wear it more. Also, it's so big that you can do this as an option where you just pull it all the way over your head. Um, visibility is not an issue for you. Then this is a great look if you want to go really incognito. You can just like go fully, no one will ever know who you are and that's that's a nice advantage to uh, a toque like that oh yes this is more of a Christmassy kind of look we're getting further down into the season the forest green cardigan 
with a little peekaboo moment in the elbow. Um, Lorianne gave that to me. Shout out, Lorianne. Thank you. Um, that mustard scarf, don't know where that came from. And that red toque is Pepper's, and I think like maybe her grandmother made it. I just know she like lent it to me and was like, you can borrow this, but you can't have it because my grandmother made it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and anyway, I've been borrowing it for years. Thanks, Pepper. Please don't take it back. <laughs> So we got the Uggs. Uggs are something I, they were, you know, when they were first really big in the early 2000s, I was super resistant to them because they are ugly. And I don't know why I resisted so long because once you try them on, you'll never want to take them off. They really are clouds. They're disgustingly ugly clouds, but they're amazing. Also, fashion works in cycles like you know, whatever's uncool today will be cool tomorrow. So I'm just sort of crossing my fingers that I'm just being a bit ahead of the curve. <laughs> Maybe those are gonna come back because I can't stop wearing them. Um, also this scarf um, I got from my Auntie Jen when she moved, I think it was when she was moving. And this is like the coziest, I don't know if there's close up in here. It looks super cool close up. It's like this soft pink with these puffy things on it. And it is like the coziest thing ever. I actually like typically like in the winter will wear it. I didn't get any video of me doing this, but I wear it like over my head kind of like and wrap it around my whole head. It's like so warm and cozy for like when I'm watching TV. It's uh, it's my fave. Oh, here we go. The French tuck. That's, <laughs> it's so great. The pumpkin sweater can do it all. The pumpkin sweater has everything. And yeah, it just, I mean, obviously with these Levi's. How does, how do Levi's do this? Like, it's seriously like Levi's are just the best. I found these, and this, so as a fat person, finding a really great pair of Levi's you know, like you'll hear lots of people, like skinny people talk about, oh, it's so hard to find jeans and it's hard to find the right, you know, the perfect Levi's and like, please, <laughs> like, I'm just kidding. I should not even say that. <laughs> what I mean to say is, I'm sure it is hard for you, then I'm sure you could imagine how much more challenging it is if you're fat trying to find the perfect pair of Levi's. You know, I've spent years Anytime I'm in a thrift store, you check for these, this pair of Levi's. And when I found these, it was like one of the greatest days of my life, I would say. <laughs> Cause like my, my butt looks amazing. You know, my whole everything, the whole everything looks amazing. I love these pants. Oh, this is the jacket. So this jacket was inspired by, Lorianne had a jacket like this and she would occasionally let me borrow it. And then when she moved, I couldn't borrow it anymore. So I started searching around and I found this jacket at Effa's and Frank in Vancouver for like $12. And it's like suede and all the, you know, it's the real deal. And it's like two sizes too big, which is, that's perfect. For a jacket like that, you want, you want a big round shape, okay? Like that's what you should be going for. Like don't, you need to go and get something that's just really, really round. That's, that's the key, okay? So don't get it twisted. Also, I'm wearing Doc Martens. I definitely, I highly recommend Doc Martens, the tall lace-up ones. To me, this is like the all-terrain shoe. Like, it can do everything. Like, everything. A fancy night out, like, that looks bomb with like a dress and like the thing and the whatever. Like, your crustiest outfit, it looks bomb. You can wear it hiking. You can wear it in like, it does everything. It does everything. I got those. Um, my boyfriend at the time bought them for me when we went to San Francisco. Thank you very much, Mike. I'm still enjoying them. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I wanted to end with 
the sort of like indoor looks to pajamas. I think it would be funnier and better to end on the like really ugly pair, but for my self esteem I cannot do that. I need to end on the cute pair. <laughs> <laughs> because the ugly ones are so ugly. But you know what? I wanted to be real with you all. So <laughs> this is this is the pajamas. The truth is is that I know you have an outfit like this too. I think everyone has like an ugly house outfit and but we just we just pretend we don't. It's just like an embarrassing secret. We just like don't talk about it. <laughs> and but I'm putting it out there. You know, I've got the basketball shorts, very important. Basketball shorts, as any teenage boy will tell you, are very comfortable. And um, this sweater I also got from Pepper, a lot of Pepper clothes. This, to me, just, I think, makes me look horrible. <laughs> but it is so comfortable. And those socks are amazing as well. They're super cozy, so this is the house outfit. Finally, this is the, the cute pajama outfit, another leopard print number that Pepper got me. This one piece is like so comfortable. It's like that really like, it's like fleece, I guess. And the only thing about it is that <laughs> my butt is so big that the flaps won't close. So I have to like wear it with my butt out, which, you know, when you're in the house, like who cares? Like doesn't bother me any. So yeah, that's, those are the things that I am grateful for, and uh, I don't know if there really was any tips in there. I think that was my intention at first, but... I mean, to be honest, my real true tip is just that, like, enjoy the clothes you have, you know? Fashion is a joke. Trends are, uh, it's all, I don't know. You look cute. You already look really cute, okay? That's what I'm saying. Now let me just check my notes here. Make sure I got everything. What about you? What are you grateful for? I feel like it'd be cool if we could all kind of share what we're grateful for. Um, I'm interested to see what you're grateful for in your life in the midst of all this wildness. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of everything. Uh, thank you for joining me on this weird video. Sort of a random thing, but I wanted to do it. And uh, what my baby wants, my baby gets. So <laughs> I, yeah. Um, also, uh, thank you to Alien Boys for this song. They're a really cool punk band and uh, yeah, I'll have their music linked in the description box below if you want to check them out. And yeah, thanks for watching. I do the things like share, subscribe, etc., etc. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye. Because we objectify ourselves, objectify ourselves, and in this, the missing of a point, the missing of a mark, the missing of another voice lost to the violence of silence and another man's version of what my body is made for.